Let's talk about the grid view and Google Slides. Until recently, I'll be honest, I haven't really even paid too much attention to this. When I was working with a teacher, I could see a lot of value in using the grid view on students' decks of slides. Let's see what I mean. What you see on my screen is your traditional layout for Google Slides. You have your small thumbnails and the larger mat space where you see your large slide. That's awesome, and you know that you can scroll. But what happens when you get into slide decks that have a lot of slides? Using the grid view, you can see more slides and bigger at one time. In the lower left-hand corner, notice the two small icons. When you hover over the one that's darker, it tells you that you are currently in film strip view, the traditional view in slides. Look at the icon to the right. When you hover over, this is the grid view that I'm talking about. Click on the grid view. Notice how your thumbnails become much larger and you can see more of them at one time. In the center of the bottom of my screen, you can also see that you can zoom in even further. Imagine a student's slide deck or one of your own. Looking at the slides in this manner, you can easily see if you have something out of order or if you decide you want to change the order of them. Simply click on a slide and shift it to where you want it to be. Notice the gold line is showing me that I would be moving it into that position. As the teacher, you can easily do this for your students, or if you'd rather use the commenting feature, select the slide that you would like to make a comment on and notice the add comment option up here at the top. It takes you right back to the traditional film strip view where you can add in your topic, your comment to your students. This is definitely one Google Slides tip that you can do and maybe even show to your students.